Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and oh boy, after like a week and a half of absolutely literally nothing happening in the magic world, we finally got some news, and this is pretty interesting. Coming up in 2025, we've got a new tournament structure. It's called the Magic Spotlight Series. So they call it a large multi-day celebration. It's like the opposite of every single one of those words, but okay. Each event is going to have a theme. I wish it was something like really cool, like go full Yu-Gi-Oh anime. Like your deck has to contain no mythics and rares. Everything has to be a single tribal. Now that would be too entertaining and interesting and require pros to actually build their own decks. What they're instead doing, I'm just going to read it, is... Uh, just as exciting as these events themselves, each Magic Spotlight series uh, stop will feature a flagship main tournament. So that's really what it is. I mean, it, they're throwing an event, they're probably just kind of getting it on somebody else's event. That's what they've been doing, and financially that actually is a lot smarter. But this little event will be a two-day open event that features a $50,000 prize pool, okay? A sweet promo card and invitations to an upcoming Magic Pro Tour event for the top eight finishers. So there will be five in the U.S. hosted by Star City Games, so you know the judges will be super fair and knowledgeable and accurate, as long as you're not a white male. From what I've heard from reports from about 50 different people, two will be in Europe, hosted by Fanfinity, which I don't know much about them, but I thought... I heard some controversy with them, I could have sworn, unless it was a name kind of like them. And one in Japan by Big Magic. No idea who that is, but... At least when something happens in Japan, they tend to just put in effort. It's just like a cultural thing, so that's probably the best shot right there. So these Magic Spotlight Series Stops, which is what they're formally calling them, will also feature side events, vendors, special guests. So it's just Magic Con. Like, that's what it is. It's literally just a Grand Prix. Like, what is the difference other than this, ooh, big whoop de doo thing that you should watch? Now, there is a hook coming, though. So they do go full, um, look at the organizer's event information page for all details. So, you know, Wizards is barely involved, which is obviously a very good thing. I think they're just putting up money, which is the last thing I ever thought they would do. Either that or they're going full, like, you know, poker tour, where it's like, I mean, how much do you think comes out of the World Series of Poker's pocket? None of it, because it's like a thousand bucks an entry. How do you think they get to that, like, 18 mil at the end table? That actually would be kind of cool, except for the fact that nobody would do it. Magic isn't big enough, and the big pros in Magic don't have that kind of cash. And before you say it, they don't have that kind of cash from their sponsors either. So this main event thing will feature uh, one format over the course of two days of competition, with the action starting on Saturday. Everyone who signs up may compete in as many of the nine rounds on Saturday as they wish, but only players who have 18 match points or better, typically awarded by six or more match wins, they will be competing in the second day of competition on Sunday. So after six rounds on Sunday, the top eight advance to a single elimination playoff, which will play to a winner on Sunday as well. These top eight players, though, will all secure invitations to an upcoming Magic Pro Tour event. And with play for the title of Magic Spotlight Champion, the Lions share the $50,000 prize pool, who didn't see that coming, and an extra special prize for the winner of each Spotlight main event, more on that in the spotlight theme section later in this article. I think they should just make them like pick a door, you know, go like, let's, let's make a deal, you know? So they're open tournaments. You show up, you buy in, you're good. They actually warn you though, because it sounds so peachy, uh, seating can run out. Let me just revise that. Seating will run out. So they actually want you to sign up early and in advance of booking travel and attending. So like, I mean, would you describe that as an open tournament? I guess. I mean, if you had that, uh disclaimer so promo cards will be available to each magic spotlight main event participant in non-foil with promo cards uh changing for each theme additionally the top 128 players from each magic spotlight main event will earn a traditional foil of the promo card so they're also adding live video coverage on both days which is something they cut off without notice uh i think even before covid they literally let uh channel fireball know that they weren't going to borrow them the film equipment and production equipment I think either the day before or the day of, or like a couple days after when they started asking, where is the equipment? They said, oh, we're not doing that anymore. Well, would have been nice to know since we told people it was going to be streamed. That was one of the last draws. If you're wondering why, why uh, Star City Games is running this instead of Channel Fireball, it's because Channel Fireball collapsed. Or I should say their event LLC did or whatever. So yeah, this whole, hey, we're back and everything's fine, doesn't mean, like, forgive them. You should not. And if you think people aren't going to cheat at this, I got news for you. Don't even think about participating in this. 
So the one coming up uh, January 4th is uh, in the U.S., and it showcases standard constructed cards over two days, but they also are calling it the Magic Spotlight Foundations main event. So, I mean, yeah, Foundations is standard constructed, but does that mean it'll be standard constructed and then they have to add foundation? I don't know what they're doing. And they do call it an exciting way to welcome a new era of standard, well, not unless you ban about 50 cards... I mean, have you guys been on Arena lately? If you haven't, let me just tell you, not much has changed. I mean, some really toxic crap cycled out, but literal toxic cards with toxic slash what I just call infect because that's what it is, on them are still at least a tier 1.5 deck. Not to mention the atrocious crap I'm running. So the promos, Terror of the Peaks, oh boy, how exciting. And the special prize of the number one winner uh, is a full play booster display case, which costs Watsy next to nothing. So that's six boxes of boosters of every single standard legal magic release in all of 2025. Hopefully they stick to that. I just have a feeling they'll like forget or get a little too disorganized or be too busy bitching about politics on Twitter. I mean, did Peter Molyneux ever deliver that thing to the guy who clicked on the cube a trillion times? Nah, not really. Oh, well, they partner with Mr. Beast. Did we ever find out who won the tournament and won the money? No. Why? Because one, Mr. Beast was involved, and two, Watsy was involved. Both very, very forgetful people. They even forget how, like, you know, laws work. So then we got Netherlands. It's going to be modern constructed. Um, promo card is Caldra Compliate. And believe it or not, that's actually all they have info for, probably because they'd have to reveal the names of upcoming sets, which, uh... Oh, I don't even remember when they do that. It's whatever the, like, some big tournament or big geek convention thing is. I don't know. I thought it was at, like, Gen Con. Didn't that just happen? But, uh, I don't know. It's coming up. It's usually in the fall, I think. For now, the first uh, Duskborn House of Horror episode is out. And I think, actually, two is out, too, which I thought was weird. That was a little close. Not gonna lie, I might actually read it. It seems like a really interesting plane. But I've said that before and been completely wrong because of poor writing, poor design, and just plot holes you could drive a truck through. Remember, when they select a writer for this crap, they go after politics first, gender and orientation second, and ability to write and skill and, like, portfolio of work third. So I'm, I'm going to wait to see what some other people who cover the lore think about it. But let me know if you want me to cover it here. I think I already know the answer. Even... Oh my gosh, seven, eight years ago, that was my least viewed series, was me covering the lore in an interesting way where I totally didn't change everything for comedic purposes. I mean, maybe Dominaria, they weren't going after uh, dragons and crap, they are going after spice, because the spice must flow. But yeah, let me know, have you read it? Uh, what do you think of it? I really want to know. But uh, what do you think of this new tournament? It's a big splashy prize that goes almost entirely to the top person. They're really just using it as a qualifier for pro tours and making a lot out of it. But then it's going to be uh, covered with video, which means just more people cheating will get caught. It's just the same old, same old. But like the hook is that they're going to change the theme. And they've got like a cool, interesting promo that doesn't just go to the judges. So they're, they're like changing it up a little bit. It's a little more interesting than what they've done. But have they removed the disease, the rot from the inside? The, the cheating, the sharing of information, the adding cards to sealed pools. No, they haven't done anything about that. I haven't seen one word about how we're really going to take, like, the rules and cheating seriously. No, I, nothing about that. They don't want that reputation, despite the fact that over the last 12 years, I've ensured that they have that reputation by just reporting things that are actually happening and publicizing them. And they're among my most viewed videos because people are pissed about this crap. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because I may have a pretty hot looking, uh, interesting group of cards coming blind off the internet. Um, people are, uh, that, that video, if you haven't seen it, okay, the one where I pulled, I think it was a grand worth of cards, finally, after getting like 30 duds in a row. Well, that's pretty much what I was going to say about it. People are accusing me of faking it because it's the internet and everything's fake. People saying, oh, this just randomly showed up uh, off the internet, and oh my god, I, I even got a blind box off the dark web from some guy out in Russia. Oh my gosh, yeah, super real. Yeah, look, everything on the internet's fake, pretty much. Not that one. The, the only thing fake about it, and I, okay, let me start at the beginning. People always say, how do you have the hottest box openings ever? That's simple. I would film 10 of them and upload the two best. I, I, I've never, like, not said that. I think I opened the video saying, hey, this is like box number eight, maybe it'll be good. Like, you have to try to miss that, okay? I think it's just people angry at me and they're trying to grasp at straws, but anyway. 
if you did miss that or you felt misled, well, there you go. There's the truth. Now, in this one, I've gotten a bunch of dud ones. I've filmed every single one that I have opened off the internet. Now, I'm not stupid, okay? I've got over 4,000 feedback on my account on eBay. I've been selling on it since, I think, 2012. Actually, wait, no, I, I think that's, no, that's my other account. I think 06. I've been at this a while, okay? I've been hustling. I've been selling everything. If I can find it at a thrift store and flip it, we good. So I know when someone with 400 feedback where their username is so-and-so thrift store and I look it up and it exists and the, the name matches, they take a photo like somebody who doesn't know what the heck they have and what they're talking about. The description and the title, and, and they put it in the wrong category. It, like These aren't hard to find, guys. They are few and far between, but they're, when you spot something, you know, okay? Even with that level of knowledge, I have had a grand total of two videos that were worth editing and uploading. One was like, I don't know, 90 bucks that I paid 10 bucks for, and I was just ecstatic because that was the highest I had had at the time. And then we had the absolute miracle one. The only thing I could tell about it, it was, it, it was somebody's commander building pool. Pretty much. It wasn't full disassembled decks. It was just really good hot commander cards, mostly from the commander sets. But it was over grand. People are like, oh my God, it's fake. Uh, clickbait. Uh. First of all, it's not clickbait. It's exactly what it said in the title. Shut up. And secondly, I did not fake that. So with that out of the way, I have the most promising looking one ever coming in the mail. So I might do it live, but like that's just asking for disappointment. But uh, I don't know. It'd be kind of exciting. It would be a way to make a bunch of money on something that, that very likely, from sheer probability, isn't worth money. I mean, nobody drops off their own cards at a thrift store. So even if they clearly do not know what they have, clearly did not know how to name or list it, clearly did not know how to take the photo, still, what are the odds that, you know, a grand worth of cards showed up? So... Even if they don't know what they have, I have a pretty sneaking suspicion that I know what they have and it ain't good. That's why I didn't upload like the other 20, 30, 40, 50 box openings blind off eBay that I got because they turned out to be complete and utter bombs. This one, you know, it, it looks good, but like so does everything. So uh, I don't know. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. Might be live, might be recorded, might be a complete dud and you never hear about it again. So should be arriving in a couple days, might uh, film it this weekend. So that's a way more exciting announcement than any of this tournament crap, but, you know, hey, it's a new revival of uh, pro-level play. So, you know, just wanted to let you know about it and let you know to avoid it. So thanks for watching, everybody. Watch for more cheaters getting caught videos in the future, because this is going to spawn them, and I'll see you guys next video.